So this problem is one of the application of the famous algorithm and we call it Cadane algorithm. So basically you are given one array and you need to find the maximum sum sub array in O of n time complexity. So the time complexity will be strictly O of n and you need to find the maximum sum sub array. Sub array means you have, you have to find out the contiguous set of elements. So as you can see in this array, we have both the types of elements. We have positive numbers as well as negative numbers. And by using this set of elements, we need to find out the contiguous set of sub array or continuous set of elements which gives me the maximum sum. So for solving this, we take the two variables. So let's say my first variable is result sum and second variable is intermediate sum. And we simply start traversing this particular array one by one. So let's say we first encounter the first element which is minus 5. So as this is my first element only, so my result sum will be minus 5 and my intermediate sum will also be minus 5. And then we start encountering the next element and then here is the trick started. So basically we need to check always after adding the next element is my sum is increasing or if I just take the next element only then my sum is more. So what that mean? It means this condition. So basically whenever we are encountering the next element we need to check that after adding the next element my sum is increasing or not. So currently my sum is minus 5 plus 6 which is 1. So my intermediate sum is 1. And then what is this current value? So this current value is like I need to check that the next element only is actually giving me the more sum. So my next element is 6. So the current value is 6. So in this case 6 is more than 1. So what that mean? If I just have the dis2 element in my array, for example, then I will get the maximum sum sub array only for this particular element, which is 6. So till this point, I will get the maximum sum as 6 only. So this is 6 and this is also 6. Now let's say we do the same process again. So we encounter the next element, which is minus 7. So my intermediate sum is minus 1 and till now we get the maximum sum sub array is 6. So what that mean? It means if these three elements are present in my array, the maximum sum sub array is 6 that we got so far. But currently in my intermediate sub array, these are the two elements we considered. Now let's see the next element. So next element is 1. So now I encounter the next element and my intermediate sum will become 1 plus 6 minus 7 which will give me 0 and the sum contributed by alone by this particular new element is 1. So 1 is more than 0. So now this will become 1 and till now we get the maximum sum sub array is 6. So now my sub arrays will become only 1 because this will contribute to a, towards the more value of the towards my sum. So let's say in the next element. So next element is 4, my intermediate sum will become 5 and my resultant sum is 6 because still we have the maximum sum sub array is 6 if we just encounter the array till this point. Now let's take the next element. The next element is minus 8. So this will give me the intermediate sum as minus 3 and minus 8 will contributed by this particular element. So minus 3 is more than minus 8. So in that case, the intermediate sum is minus 3 and of course the maximum sum sub array till now is 6. Now the next element which is 16. So if you see the value contributed by this new element is 16. And if we add all these elements in my sub array, I will get the value as 13. So 16 is more than 13. So what that means? My intermediate sum will become 16. And till now, my resultant sum was 6, but now 16 is more than 6. So now my resultant sum is also become 6. And now my array stopped. So basically, in this complete traversal of this particular array, the maximum sum sub array that we get is only this single one element. So that's how you have to solve this problem in O of n time complexity.